I'm gonna roast your art, consensually. I guess at some point we all have to start somewhere in our art journey, and for you that was tracing, but can we talk about the hands? Like, all you had to do was trace. I'm sorry, but that sounds like a disgusting cookie flavor. This isn't even a remark on your art, this is just- The fact that this is a drawing in your art makes me think that you need therapy. If I have to deal with one more edgelord grape, I'm gonna just start making fruit salads and eating them while I record this. Is it Undertale? Yes. Is it Sans? Yes. Is it a Sans Undertale AU? Yes. But he has a big comfy sweater, and I support it, okay? Man, people who don't need therapy don't do the whole demon eye thing to their characters. See, look, I am a supporter of the, the chicken scratch method for drawing lines. But you've just taken this to a whole new level. Who whipped out the sharpie and drew those brows, man? Like, seriously. All that comes to mind when I look at this is seriously just the Megamind meme, like nothing else. My absolute favorite non-anthro furries are the ones that look like their leg joints were like welded together in a straight line. Like those suckers are not going anywhere. You're one of those people who the only reason they learned art was so they could draw their ships. Nobody else was making them. There is a special place in my heart for people who utilize the brushes nobody else uses. There's a reason nobody else uses them, and I want you to take a long, hard look at that, okay? Look, man, if you can't draw the eyes, just say you can't draw the eyes. Don't scribble them out and draw them on the side. <laughs> like, uh, she had eyes, and then I pulled them out from her head, and here they are. These men have the hair volume that all women want, and only men can achieve with the 10 in 1 shower products. With a mouth the length of the entire face, I would characterize this character as a creepypasta immediately. She feels like an entity staring into my soul, and when I look back at her, uh, there's like, there's no emotions, there's no consciousness, there's, there's no nothing. I'm, I'm scared. Would you do me a favor and go ahead, whip out that blur tool and like, blur the rest of this for me? Thank you. Look man, the only thing you failed was art class, bro. I am recommending you to pop in a car and drive yourself to the nearest psych ward possible. And just admit yourself there and when they ask why, Show them a printed photo of this. She got them apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur. I am issuing a nine month ban on drawing any angsty fandom art. Good luck. Dang bro, what tattoo parlor is serving up that uh, fresh look? I don't know if you've heard this yet, but that neck is about as long as the necktie, and I'm a little concerned. That's it. You know, this is so rough, it could actually genuinely be an internet meme. Join my Discord to submit your art for the next roasting video. This is really what I imagine gotcha characters kissing looks like in slightly more high definition, alright? I'm gonna start a new genre of art and it's gonna be called angst core. This is angst core right here. Slow down there, buddy. One power at a time. Like, is she galaxy? Do her hands set on fire? Is half her face corrupted? Like, pick one thing. Nothing actually manages to scare me more in this world than people that combine gotcha and, like, art at the same time. I'm not talking about the people who edit over a gotcha character, don't get me wrong, that scares me too, but the people that will take the head of a gotcha character and then try and draw a body that fits it. That terrifies me. It's a big brain character, that's what I'd say. Uh, what'd he do? Get like squished by a brick? Like he's got that dream jawline going on. This is like animation meme core. There, bam. The new genre. No, no, please. Add, add a little more blush. There's not enough. I think I can still faintly see the eyes. Yum. Nothing like the taste of blood running from my nose. Friendly reminder. This is a hedgehog. Not freaking Gabriel the Archangel. But, secondary side note, this is probably the coolest Sonic fan art I've ever seen. I like how it's a hand-drawn mermaid and then straight up a rock PNG from Google. Like, you are killing it out here, bro. Love the scale texture just slapped on there, too. <laughs> Literally, one, what's with all the shadow fan art? And two, 
Where's he shopping? Like, he is dripped out, dude. Like, look at those chains and the belt and the earrings and the bracelets. Like, alright. Uh, he is kind of yassified a little bit. Now slap the subtitle, hang in there on it. I need, like, three gallons of bleach to unsee and uncomprehend what I'm looking at right now. Uh, why is the left eye melting off of the face? That is my only question. Honestly, I don't even want to know the context behind this. All I know is whoever gave you a drawing tablet when you were this age needs to be fined to the maximum penalty and jailed for 20 years. This is literally just Orb Steve. Orb Steve with a feather duster stuck in his head. I'm glad this is a global experience following like those anime tutorials. I have concerns about the ribcage because I'm gonna be honest, it literally looks like this is like photoshopped. Me too, bro. Me too. Okay, we need a lesson on perspective because how did the left ear get all the way onto the right ear? See, it just gets worse. This one actually has three ears on the right side of the head. I actually love how half of the costume is just a zipper. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the airplanes and the shooting stars in the night sky meme. Yeah, bro. I'd be crying too if my head was separated from my body. It's a little weird. Uh, I, I understand this is supposed to be perspective, but um, it's coming off a little weird. Dude, Jason and Miku had a child. All you gotta do is invert this image and it'll look like he has candy corn in his mouth. What was happening on the 4th of May in 2019? Were you okay? You know what I always say, if you're gonna trace, at least do it right. Like, come on. I am a supporter of experimental lighting. I am not a supporter of sketching in ketchup and mustard. Don't get me wrong, great drawing. But then I looked at it pointing the straw and I was kind of like, if you actually drank out of that straw, would you be drinking its brain? Dude, look, it might be a scary bloody monster, but it's got thighs for days, man. I'm sorry, there's no way in hell you didn't trace this. You can't have that level of hair shading with this level of, like, folds and clothing and anatomy understanding. I seriously need you guys to stop posting in the Roast Your Art channel with traced art. Because it's traced! The only thing that icks me out is that the hands look sweaty. Ugh. Welcome to the party. Thought you'd never come. Well, I'm shocked he made it too, considering he has one functional eye and what it looks like, uh, one functional brain cell. I genuinely pray this is the last time I ever see an edited My Little Pony character, because I'm kind of terrified and really thought that the generation of My Little Ponies was over. I don't understand how this character is like crying galaxies and yet does not look sad at all. Oh dude, I feel uncomfortable. Also, why is his nose half the length of his face? Disrespectful to ask where the rest of her legs went. 